Today we are doing a prop swap and bill condensing and I'm excited about it. Let's get into this video. Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel, The Almost Organized Hour, where we are on a mission to get organized in our finances through budgeting, cash stuffing, and savings challenges. If that is something that interests you, please stick around. How is everyone doing today? I'm excited. We are doing my very first prop swap um, and my second bill exchange. And I promise you guys, I am way more organized this time than I was the previous time. So we've got it all down. We've written down our totals and I am excited to get started. So let's jump into this. These videos tend to be a little bit longer. Um, so I'm going to just go ahead and get started. For those who may be new to prop swaps and bill exchanges, essentially we're using placeholder money in place of real cash. And then that real cash is then going into the bank account. Um, and so what I'm going to do, this is my mom's uh travel binder, uh, the binder that I'm using to save up for my mom's trip to Hawaii, I am going to take the cash out of this binder and I'm going to put it into the bank because it's going to be quite a while until we're able to save up enough money in order to um, fully fund that trip to Hawaii. And so instead of having the cash sit here in uh, this binder, I'm going to put it into um, the uh, the savings account that we have set aside for this fund. And so I am using prop um, money or placeholder money uh, to represent the cash that is going into the bank. And then I'm going to use this cash that I have here to condense the other binders that I have. And basically what a bill condensing is, is that you're taking the smaller bills that you have in the binders, ones, tens, uh, fives and that sort of thing, and you are condensing them into into larger bills, twenties, um, fifties, one hundred dollar bills, that sort of thing. So let's go ahead and get into it. Um, and I really I wanted to take some time to explain that because as a new cash stuffer and budgeter jumping into a brand new video, and this may be your first video. Um, in the cash stuffing community and you may have no idea as to what it is that I'm talking about. Um, and I really appreciate it when I was at the beginning of my journey, those who took the time to explain um, what they were doing prior to actually jumping into it because not everybody is, is, is aware. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with this. The first envelope is the dining and we have Placeholder bills are, are printables and you can feel free to um, look down in the description box of this video if you would like to print these out for yourself. You can feel free to laminate them or um, just leave them as they are. I have these placeholder bills from Tess over at Save with, Saving with Tess because she um, gifted these to me uh, through one of her giveaways a while ago. And so I'm happy to be able to use them today. So we have 150 and then at 20 for $170 that is going into this one. All right, and in excursions, and I'm just gonna sit that over to the side and then once we're done with this, then we'll put it into the cash tray. So then we have 120. So we'll put in one twenty, and as you notice, I also have trackers inside of each one of these envelopes um, to make sure that I have the correct amount. So we are progressing, you guys. We're getting better. We're getting a little more organized. Okay, so we have um, fifty, twenty, ten, and five. So we're going to grab the 50, 20, 10, and 5 to represent this one. And that is Fun in the Sun. And that's $85 going into here. Next is Lodging. Oh, and I forgot to mention that this... Um, 
binder is from Dawn over at Funding Magita Jones. I won this as a giveaway on Tracy's channel uh, over a year ago now. <laughs> so this is 310 that is going into lodging. So we're going to get out 300, 1, 2, and 3. And 10. Next is souvenirs, and we have 105 in souvenirs. So we grab 100 and 5. And then last is transportation. And transportation already had has a prop bill in it because someone generously donated $100 towards um, saving for my mom. And so then we have $270 that we are going to put placeholder money in for. $250. So then this transportation fund has a total of $370. All right, and then this binder was already condensed and we have not added anything to it since then. So we this is good to go. I'm gonna set that over to the side and I am going to put this money into the cash tray after I sort it all out. Now we're gonna give this account to see how much money we are going to take back to the bank. I'm gonna use my calculator just so I don't, I don't mess up. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's 800, 50, 100, 150, 20, 40, 60, 80. 10, 20, 2530. So we have $1,060 that is going back to the bank. All right, I'm going to start with my holiday binder and we're going to condense the envelopes that are in here. So let's see. Oh, I forgot that you all didn't see my last holiday binder cash stuffing because I recorded it and finished the challenge and was able to use those funds um, that I saved from Easter to go towards purchasing um, some shoes and things for Easter for my children. But the footage, it just deleted. It just, it was just gone. I went to go try to edit it and it was only like um, a millisecond <laughs> worth of footage that remained. I don't know what happened. It, I couldn't recover it. I was sad about it, but I had to move on. <laughs> All right, so in this first envelope, um, we have $21, and this cannot be condensed. So we're going to move on. Next is the savings challenge that we're using to save for winter. And this has 20, 30, 35. Oh, wait a minute. This is out of order, so let's get it in order. So we have 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 51. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So it has fifty-seven dollars in here, and so we're just going to grab fifty-seven, fifty-five, and then keep two ones. Let's get rid of the scraggly one and use these, and then put this away. Okay, so we have 50, 5, 6, and 7. 57. All right, the next envelope is our spring envelope, and we have $50 remaining from that. We don't need to do anything to get into that. Um, the next is, let's see, we have $23 in here. I'm going to put back the tens and take a 20. Still have 23. 
and we're going to put this back in here. And this is the saving challenge that I finished. I put it with my finished saving challenges so I don't have it here to show you, but that um, envelope I thought was so pretty, so I just left it in there. Okay. And this is our summer savings envelope. We have 20, 40, 60, $75 that we have in here. And so we are able to put in a 50, so 20, For the 50, we have two 20s and a 10. And then we still have the 75. Next is the savings challenge that we are using to help us to save towards summer. And this has a good bit in it. A 50, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110. We have 110 in here and so let's go ahead and grab $100 bill and we can keep a 10. And we still have 110. All right, so far so good you guys. <laughs> Next is the um it's our Thanksgiving savings. And we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, and 27. So we have 27 in here. We're going to put back the fives and get a 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 and get a 5. And then we still have 27. Okay, and this one is done. Awesome. Next is the Tiny Tuesday binder, and this one is quite chunky, so we'll be able to definitely condense this one. Okay, so, yeah, see, look at that. Quite chunky, isn't it? <laughs> I think this is the chunkiest one. Let's see, in this first envelope, it was quite thick. Okay, <laughs> that's exciting. We have 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. We have $48, so we're just $2 shy of 50, but that's okay. Um, Let's go ahead and put in 48. I am just going to sit this over to the side and grab 40, 5, 6, 7, 8. Keep the scraggly ones for the bank. So we have 48 that we have condensed. I'm going to go ahead and put it away. 40. Five, eight, all right. And then put this over here, okay. All right, see, look, that envelope was crying to be condensed. <laughs> it's so happy now. All right, in the next envelope we have, let's check it out, 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89. So we have $89 in this one. So let's see what we can do. I'm going to sit it over to the side. We have 50, 70, 80, 85, and let's see, 85, 86, 87, 88 and 89. Let's just double check it. 50, 70, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89. All right. Wonderful. And just two more scratches left on this one, and that will be complete. That is exciting. 
Next envelope, we have 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. We have $17 in here, so not quite 20, but we can put the fives back and grab a 10. One, two, three, four, and five. And grab a five. 17. Okay, the next envelope we have, let's see, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two. All right, so we can hold back two dollars and put the five away and these ones and grab a twenty. Twenty two. This is so exciting to actually see because I typically don't count the challenges um, as I am doing them. I just count them once they are complete. So it's exciting to kind of see the progress on some of these challenges that they're almost done and how much money we're able to save. So that's really exciting. This is a new challenge that we started. It only has $3 in it, so we, we cannot condense. All right, this one is actually almost done too. So let's see, we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 41, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So exactly $45 in here. We can grab two 20s, one and two, and hold on to a five. So $45. Honestly, you guys, at the beginning of my journey, I did not even think that we would be able to, first of all, do savings challenges because we had so much money in debt. And then not only do savings challenges, but finish them and to even be able to have this much money in our binders to condense. Like, oh my goodness, this, this is just so rewarding. All right, let's go ahead and count this one. We have 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22. So let's go ahead and put in 22, grab the 20, and leave two, and then we'll put back the rest of the cash. So 22. All right, and we have another binder down. Next is... Next is the Sinking Fund Savings Challenge Binder. And I'm going to sit this 2024 challenge to the side. It's kind of in the way. Okay. Okay. So let's see what kind of progress we're making in our 2024 Savings Challenge. Okay. Let's see. We have 50, 100, 120, 140, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86, 87. So $187 in our 2024 challenge. So let's see, 87, um, I think, oh wait, so we can pull out, 187 is what we have. So we can pull 20s and 10 to make a 50. And that was our last 50. Then we have 10, 20. So we can pull out the 10s and put in a 20. Fives and put in a 10. And then that's it. So let's just do a quick double check. Look at this old five. So cool. All right. So we have 50, 100, 150, 170, 180, 185, 186, 187. All right. Okay. And the save $224 in 2024. Let's see what we have in here so far. We have 20, 40, 60, 85. So we have 85 in here. We have no more 50s. So we can't do anything with this. So let's go ahead and put this back. All 
All right. And I still haven't replaced that, but I'll get to it at some point. Let's see. In the Owl Savings Challenge, we have 50, 70, 90, uh, 95, 100, 105, 110, 115. So we have $115 in here, so we can grab 100, 10, and 5, and then put this back. So now we have a 50. So one hundred and fifteen dollars. Okay, let's see. In the next challenge, we have twenty, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-one, two, three, four. Hold on, that tripped me up a bit. Let's count it. We have twenty, thirty, thirty-five, forty. 41, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So we have $46 in this one. Um, we can't condense for a 50. Let's see. We can 1, 2. We can put the 5s back and take a 10. We can put the 10s back <laughs> and take a 20. And one, two, three, four, and five. One's getting tight and grab a five. So let's see, we have forty six dollars. Great. All right, the last one in this binder, we have 20, 30, 40, 50. So, oh, we have 50, good. 20, 30, 40, 50, yes. So let's grab a 50 and put this back. Awesome. This binder is complete. All right. In our debt savings challenge binder, the first challenge is the letterbox challenge, and we're not going to condense this one. We're just going to move on from there. We have uh, this next savings challenge, and we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 51, 2, and 3. We have $53 in this one we don't have any 50s but let's see if we can put back these four tens and take two 20s one and two and then we can put back these two fives and take the ten and we have fifty three dollars The next envelope is almost done. We have 20, 40, 50, 60, 75 dollars in this one. So let's see. Um, we can one, two, that's it. So we can put the two tens for a 20. All right, and let's see the next envelope what we have. We have 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. So we have $35 in this one. We can grab 20, 30, and 5. I don't know if this tray is going to hold all these ones. We shall see. So far, it's making it.
All right, the next envelope has, let's see what we have in here. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Well, 45, very good. Um, but it looks like we only have 120, and so that's, so we can do 45, 45, all right, and that is it for this one, because that last challenge is just my 100 envelope challenge and that is held in a different spot the last binder that we have is the month ahead binder and i would have to say that this binder is probably the one that i'm most proud of i am so excited that i was able to get started with this oh my goodness you guys don't even know all right uh let's see there's we just started with this um so there probably won't be much to condense in here Let's see, um, we have $40 in mortgage and it's two 20s in there, so we don't have to worry about that. We actually don't have any more 20s, so let's see. Uh, let's see what we could do with electric. Electric has 30, and we can put in a 10 for the fives. Okay, and let's see, that only has a dollar in it so far. Eight. Cell phone is good. Uh, personal loan. This has 20. Let's see what we have in here. Um, 25. So, 21, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Let's put these ones back. Oops. And get a five. So then this has 25. Let's see. I think that one's pretty good to go. Wait, now let's check out YMCA and see if we can do anything with this. 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So let's just change out the 5 for 10. And we still have 14 in here. And I think that is it for this. Because that's 10 and the other one is only 3. Okay. So we are done with the month ahead binder. And we are done with all of the binders, you guys. So now all we have to do is to add up all of the money that we have over here to make sure that it equals $1,060. Okay, so our goal amount is to have $1,060 at the end of this count. So I'm going to count the ones, fives, tens. We have no 20s, we have no 50s, and 100s. All right, let's start with the 100. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So we have six bills, $600. Tens, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So we have 16 bills for $160. Then we have fives. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 
25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. We have thirty eight five, and then we have one ninety, so plus one ninety. Okay, so let's go ahead and count these ones. Let's do this in sections. All right, so we have one, two. nine and ten so we have a hundred and ten dollars in ones all right let's give it a count plus one one zero do you guys see this oh my gosh we did it what how exciting how exciting it worked out, you guys. Woohoo! Okay. <laughs> this is so wonderful. I am so excited. I'm going to sit the calculator over to the side. Oh, goodness. Gather up this money so that it can go back to the bank and go into my savings account, our savings account for my mom's trip. This is wonderful absolutely wonderful oh my goodness you guys oh how exciting i am just so excited you guys about this money that we get to put in the bank um to so that it can earn interest and save money for my mom's trip and um uh, all of the progress that we're making with our savings challenges and our savings goals and our financial goals it's just it's incredible it's so rewarding and fulfilling so I encourage you, I implore you to um, continue with your journey. If you have not started, please get started. Um, I always say that small amounts grow to big savings. And you guys, look at this. Hello? I mean, this is just proof. The proof is in the pudding. Is that what they say? <laughs> I am so excited. Um, I'm happy that this all worked out with no mistakes. Oh, uh, I'll, well, I'll find out when I read, when I edit the video if I actually made any. But the money all worked out. So that is the main thing. And I'm excited about that. Thank you all so very much for being here, for supporting my journey, for just encouraging us to continue on with this with this journey. Sometimes um, you wonder if what you're doing is going to make any progress at all, um, but then you get to um, do these sorts of things to let us know that we are indeed making progress, and um, it's rewarding to see. And I appreciate you all being here to cheer me on. Um, as we are working towards getting our family more organized in our finances. If you like what you see, go ahead and hit that like button over there. It really helps out the channel as well as hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. We would love to have you as a part of the fam. Be sure to hit the notification bell so that you can be notified the next time that I upload a video. And remember, you guys, that tiny amounts grow to big savings. So keep saving. And until next time, bye. I know that was my pain